Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking It Steve. The Infographics channel is back at it again, okay? <laughs> this video is titled, Diddy's Life Inside NYC Hellhole Jail. How they know? Or maybe things have been released and we know how he living in there. I want to know what's happening. Let's watch. Sean Combs, a.k.a. P. Diddy, or should we say inmate 37452-054, is facing a living nightmare at New York's That's Metropolitan okay. Detention Center in Brooklyn, New York. A jail described as hell on earth. Violence, really? drug use, threats to life, and shared showers. No, we're not talking okay, about okay. Diddy's freak offs. Right. This is just another brutal day inside MDC. In today's episode of the Infographics Show, we'll explore Diddy's new home and his life inside NYC's hellhole jail. Diddy is currently living the counter life to his hyper luxurious existence that mm -hmm. came crashing to an end in September 2024 when he was charged so with sex trafficking, racketeering, and the creation of a yeah. criminal enterprise, which included reams of sexual offenses against women. Diddy wrapped his way into stardom in the 90s, eventually racking up a net worth of around $1 billion through music, fashion, restaurants, vodka, and TV. In his prime, he held so-called white parties, where a who's who of fame and fortune had the opportunity to snort rails from the tanned bodies of call girls. These X-rated shindigs had an adult-only element where guests could indulge their most lurid fantasies. These were marathon orgies where the escorts servicing the VIPs would have to use intravenous drifts to recover from days of non-stop sex and these, rampant uh, drug use. Diddy is now doing hard time in a Spartan prison cell at the MDC, where the only white lines he sees are the ones he's told to stand behind as he strips and is ordered to drop and cough. As the most high-profile prisoner in the USA, everything he does is strictly monitored. His every move is recorded. He can't scratch his nose without someone watching. And you can be sure he won't end up sharing a cell with a muscular thug with hands big enough to screw off human heads. Diddy is currently being held in the special housing unit, a.k.a. the shoe, a 23-hour lockdown part of the prison. That means he's purposefully being kept away from the general population, which according to a former warden, is because he wouldn't last a minute in the main part of the jail. Not only is he charged with sex crimes, but killing Diddy, according to this warden, will bestow an inmate a badge of honor. Diddy is a dead man walking if anyone can actually get to him. At the very least, he'll have to pay millions. Yeah, especially now because it's come out that minors are accusing him of, of assault. Because I heard that in jail, they don't like that. They don't like grapists and they don't like pedos. They, they give them a real hard time in jail. This is what I've been told. He's in protection mode. The question is, can they get to him? We'll come back to this topic soon. But first, let's examine his day-to-day -day existence in a jail that sits somewhere within the seventh circle of hell, the violent part. Wake-up call is 6 a.m. on the dot when Diddy will open his eyes to four bare walls. He probably isn't getting much sleep. The shoe is quiet during the night, but the occasional scream will no doubt wake him from his nightmares. It is also very uncomfortable sleeping without a pillow on a one and a half inch mattress. This is a man whose $40 million 10 bedroom home, just one of his homes, had a theater, a spa, a beauty salon, and a pool connected to an underground water tunnel. There's likely no natural light in his cell, just a strip light above the furnishings of an iron bed bolted to the floor. Next to an all-in-one ensuite sink and toilet, he spends 23 hours a day in this cell. His family has been allowed to see him, okay. and his lawyer has been visiting, but the majority of his days are just him and those oh, four walls, place. plus the odd visit from Kenny the Cockroach. Yes, wow. he probably names them. That's the kind of thing men do in isolation. He's expected to make his bed every day after he awakes to mop the floor and keep his toilet and sink clean. No doubt he is grateful for these cleaning duties that give him something to do. It might be humiliating for a man who had hordes of household staff, but the alternative is going insane from inactivity. Each morning he receives his breakfast through a small hole in the door. There will be no caviar on offer, but there will be powdered scrambled eggs, cheap white bread, milk, and... 93% of New York inmates say they skip meals because of the poor food quality. 93%? Obviously they can't skip it every day. They gotta eat at some point, but they just like, hey, I'll eat when I have to. <laughs> Well, I'm starving because otherwise I don't want this bullshit. And they making it look nice in this animation because, yeah, hmm, they give you 
sweet juice. This is one Sorry. of three meals each day, which all added up by law should Stop give him at least 1,800 calories. One of the problems with this shoe is when he finally gets his meal, it won't be very hot. He's gone from spending $3,000 on a single meal in New York to eating cold hot dogs made from muscle and sinew. With each jail meal typically costing three to four bucks, he'll have to get used to mystery meat and maybe the odd surprise dish. An NDC prisoner recently complained about maggots in his food. Still, Diddy has plenty of cash, and he has access to the commissary, where he can buy candy, coffee, tea, and other food treats, and likely clothes or a radio. The maximum he'll be able to spend is $160 every two weeks. Not much for a man who owned a $500,000 diamond-studded gold chain. He might spend a lot of time reading, although there is limited access to the library for shoe prisoners. If he is reading, it's likely material found in the jail's True Links Electronic Law Library. Still, a prisoner recently said resources are really bad in the MDC. Forget about your constitutional rights, he said. Human rights here are a problem. Diddy gets three showers a week, which will be taken by himself in showers that inmates have said are full of mold. It's likely Diddy, a man who is used to the finer things in life, is now familiar with the scent that fills a badly ventilated room when large logs of fecal matter don't flush properly. There were recently 800 work orders for repair and infrastructure at the MDC in the space of a month, and plumbing was one of the issues that needed to be fixed. Let's now imagine Diddy was in general population. This has been called Hell on Earth since it was opened in 1994. In recent years, it's been known for brutal assaults. Reports say prisoners receive inadequate supervision and insufficient medical care. An inmate reported people get stabbed at least a couple of times a week in a jail where inmates have homemade knives that are six to nine inches Thanks. long. Not long ago, an inmate was stabbed multiple times. Instead of receiving medical care, he got a 25-day lockdown. Another prisoner was stabbed to death. This happened in a jail where six staff members were fired over the last five years for doing shady business with the prisoners, which according to a current inmate, means bringing in phones, the drugs, the razors, the scalpels. It's even said that some of the correction officers are gang members. It's so incredibly violent in the MDC that judges have been reluctant to send men there. Still, they don't have many options since the Metropolitan Correctional Center was shut down, mostly because of what happened to Jeffrey Epstein. If the same happens to Diddy, you can be sure heads will roll. So, is he completely safe? It depends. Just before we started making this video, it was reported he'd left his total isolation and was shacked up in a dorm with the former crypto king crypto Sam Bankman Free. But this is you just a it. Fuck it's hard to know because the Bureau of Prisons says it does not provide information about conditions of confinement, and it definitely won't talk about security. But we do know from Diddy's lawyers that life in the jail is not ideal. They recently called the conditions horrific, attempting to get Diddy out on bail with a $50 million bond, but the judge refused, so it looks as though he is staying put. How will everything work out for Diddy? If it's true he is in a dorm, he'll be experiencing 24-hour paranoia, sleeping with one eye open, watching every move of every man. He might be living with guys who, like him, require protective custody. But that doesn't mean any of the 18 to 20 of them in that dorm won't be dangerous. A few of them, like Diddy, will be in for sex-related offenses. And we're talking about a man worth hundreds of millions, so we can expect Diddy will be paying some serious money to help him stay alive. But let's not forget that a person is innocent until proven guilty. Diddy's lawyers recently said that their client has been looking forward to clearing his name, and he is going to clear his name. And if he doesn't, his name is soon going to be landing on the lips of men who have nothing to lose, and maybe something to gain. And that's why it's almost certain if he's found guilty, he'll spend much of the remainder of his life in a protective custody unit, where he'll have lots of opportunities to discuss freak-offs with men of the predatory kind who made freak-offs their life's work. Now you need to watch Inescapable Cell. Oh my god. This may be kind of sad. This is terrible. Like These definitely sound like horrible conditions. I mean, you did what you did, though. It's on camera. There are so many victims. Minors are coming out. So, you know, you can't feel too bad, but just... As a human being, it just uh, looks crazy. The fact that people have to endure, you know, this type of reality in jail is, is just wild, in prison rather. Well, I mean, this makes sense because there should be something to deter 
other people uh, from wanting to go to jail. You know, that's what kind of keeps crime at bay. I mean, obviously crime still happens every single day, but you know, a lot of people don't do certain things because they don't want to go to jail. If, if the conditions were not this horrible, then people would be like, mm, I mean, I could, <laughs> I don't mind going to jail for a couple years. I mean, it ain't that bad, you know? So, I mean, I guess the conditions have to be this terrible. You know, but but yeah, this is why. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.